Hello, everybody. Welcome to How to Make Your Wife Happy and Healthy. In today's episode, we're going to put something on the grill that you would have never suspected would work. And yet, it is so tasty and it is very good. Something my wife and I love to death now. You want to know what it is? Come on, everybody. Let's get cooking. Today, shout out goes to T T T Siri 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 Thanks for the support, T Series. Look at this channel, it's some of the favorite things that I love to watch. People playing video games. So go ahead and check out his channel, the links are down below. Thanks for the support, T Series, and an apology to Matt Haker last time because I mispronounced his name as Hacker. So shout out to Matt Haker. Haker as well. Thank you for watching the channel and supporting. If you'd like to find out how you get a shout out in my next video, stay tuned to the end to see how. Romaine lettuce. Who would have ever thought you could put romaine lettuce on a barbecue and make it very tasty? Well, we're going to do just that. And I have a salad dress we're going to put on it that's very good with it. But you can just go thighs and on whatever you like on your own. But I've got a very tasty Vietnamese inspired dressing. That goes wonderful with it. All this was created by Cooking Light, by the way. Very tasty, but unfortunately the magazine is no longer with us. Here are the ingredients. Three heads of romaine lettuce. At Costco, they have baby heads of romaine, which is beautiful and lovely and cute. You can use a regular romaine lettuce too, though. It'll work just the same. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Four teaspoons of water. Or for those of you good at math like me, one tablespoon and one teaspoon of water. Two teaspoons of brown sugar. Two teaspoons of fresh lime juice. Two teaspoons of fish sauce. One lonely clove of garlic. Smashed and crushed to bits. An eighth a teaspoon of red pepper flakes if you're feeling a little spicy. Quarter cup of feta. Quarter cup of cilantro. While we're firing up the grill, let's go ahead and get our dressing ready for our grilled cilantro. So what do we need? Four teaspoons of water from my bowl. We're gonna take two teaspoons of brown sugar, add some sweetness. Two teaspoons. Brown sugar. Two teaspoons of fish sauce. Fish sauce. Find in many Asian stores. Careful, that was probably a little, okay. Two teaspoons, got that one. I'm gonna do two teaspoons of lime juice. We're gonna take our fresh lime. Slice, and see if we can get two teaspoons of it. Sometimes, the limes I get don't have much juice. We'll see how much we get. So you got the sweet with the sugar. In the lime. Looks like half a lime will be plenty of juice. Oh yeah, that's plenty. Right there, that's enough. If I do any more, it'll be too limey. For my family. A garlic. Clove. Crushed. And destroyed. Here's my favorite way to do it. Take a very fine cheese grater. And grate up your garlic. go. 
Boop, 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 boop. Beautiful garlic into the sauce. A little bit of the black pepper. Quarter teaspoon. That was good. And an eighth teaspoon. A little spice. A red pepper flakes. Now I'm gonna stir it all up. <laughs> so I'm so lazy, I'm just gonna use my tailspoon measure. Now the sauce is ready for the grilled lettuce. Oh, my cilantro buddy is just hanging out here. We're gonna slice it up. So we put that on top. Also, you can see my feta cheese already crumbled. We just set it out. Put however much on top we like. Usually, I actually buy the blocks when I cut it myself because it's cheaper that way per ounce. But they didn't have it at the store the other day. So I bought the pre grated one. So we're going to use these two. Go on top. After we put on our wonderful, lovely, awesome dressing sauce. Again, you can use any dressing you want. Thousand Island. Whatever suits your pleasure. Ranch, they all work. The trick is we're gonna grill the romaine. All right, cilantro slicing. Just a little bit of cutting after you washed it. Just a little bit of cutting. Go through one direction, go through another direction. If you really want a third direction, go diagonally. Get it nice, smaller pieces to sort of sprinkle onto the top of your romaine. Let's put that in the dish. Be ready for the romaine. There we go. Cilantro plus sauce plus feta. Let's get our grill ready to fire up. Adding some avocado oil to the grates with a very high smoke point. Every time before I grill, avocado oil on the grill. For its high smoke point. Got some real today, so that's gonna fire it up. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. They're all on and running, so we're gonna close it. Wait about five, two minutes, let it heat up and get ready for barbecue. Let's get the romaine set up for the barbecue. Take your romaine, cut it in half, wash it thoroughly. Beautifully washed, cut in half. The other two are magically gonna be done. Then take your olive oil, drizzle on top, rub it, whoops, all sides with the olive oil. Rub all sides with the olive oil. Now your romaine lettuce is ready for the grill. Lettuce. Nice grill marks, one minute per side. Romaine lettuce, about one and a half minutes per side. Let's look and see if it's got the grill marks yet. Pretty good, flip it over. Another one and a half minutes, we'll take out the lettuce and we'll flip over the beef. 
Okay, we did the lettuce, one and a half minutes per side. You can see the lovely grill marks on there. It is ready for eating. It's beautiful. The video cut out when I was taking them off, so I don't know how much you got to see. But now you can see that we got the grill marks on there, and it looks very tasty to eat. Ready to go. go. I'm strange. How it's all like feels like crunch aspect when it's actually like really soft and mushy. And the salad soaked up like all the oils and the flavor from the grill of the barbecue. And then the salad, it has any dressing versus like the cherry on top of the salad. Mm, it's like much better than just a regular salad with Thousand Island dressing. Okay, next one. Since you made it this far, go ahead and crunch that like button just so my kids crunch on their romaine lettuce. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays. And just to mess with those who do not watch this part of the video, go ahead and slip the word ketchup into your comment down below for a chance and a shout in my next video. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.